couple of years. He said something like that. The guy told me that's living over there, he said, man, they're remodeling those places. The place that was a one bedroom or one something or other and had this, that, and other, he said they put in, make it a three bedroom. A three bedroom, but with a kitchenette, not a full kitchen. Kitchenette. And all those other rooms, you know, like when you really got so many rooms. And they said the closet space, you didn't have a big closet, they said they didn't got rid of those. And now they're putting a little T90, get a little T90 closet. Oh, yeah. No. Well, <laughs> we wonder why would they do all of that, that old building sitting there right next to that? They kept cooking that. The only thing wrong with that building is the color. Good God Almighty. They could have got a better color than the penitentiary. That's penitentiary grade. That's terrible. That's terrible. Okay, whatever you want to do, but what they're doing inside. He was telling me that they're going to charge 1800 or 2000 or something or more for the rent over there. So that must be the going, the rents have, must have. Yeah. Because have, uh, <laughs> that's uh, what they're saying, those one bedrooms that they're going to do that for? Or that the no, they got three bedrooms over there, and they got two bedrooms, and they got other, yeah. whatever they, they come, but it, yeah, it's actually a little bit on the low end, for real. Huh? Two, like a two bedroom, 2,000, that's, that's actually on the low end for D.C. Yeah, yeah. That's, what, that's on the low end for D.C. $2,000. $2,000 right? $2, for two, three bedrooms? Downtown, where I was at, by 12th and 8th, you know, 12th G Street, they were charging rent like three or 4,000, that was like four or five years ago then. I mean, yeah. Well, that's 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 that was, cheap. That was, that was like three or four years ago then. Yeah. Three, four thousand. Two thousand, two better. They started to build those buildings up. And they were so that's cheap. Man, when we fix up our property, we're gonna be rich. Not right. <laughs> want to be rich. You know? <laughs> right. For it's real, ridiculous. Man. Yeah, it's uh, right. absurd. Hey, man, just imagine. That's why they're trying to get rid of us so bad. We in pocket. <laughs> More than we know. That's why a lot fixes you up at a certain time and they think that this is going on and something else is going on. Let me speed it up here. Uh, or Rosalie, Rose Lee to Rome. And the, this is the capital. This is what's the difference now about Washington, D.C. Than, than before? It's always been the center of power. But why the big build-up? They had to get euros back into the center city. Because in the old days, bring in the immigrants, bring in the, uh, the, the poor and the needy to the center city. And the white people go out to the suburbs. Mm -hmm. yep. And further and further out, right? When you get ready, flip it over and send all the young whites, uh, what they call them, ur ur urban immigrants or something like that. Uh, urban pioneers. pioneers. Urban something or other. All the young whites, they back in here. And they got the jobs that can support it, living here. And, and they got dog walkers and they got all of that, right? <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know if they can afford it because uh, I've heard that they're coming back, but they're all living together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not, it's not like they're only. It's not like they want in one no, grab no, and like they all They want to come here, but they're sharing rooms and sharing spaces. But mm. In San Francisco, they're doing like in San Francisco. Uh, they get a Mac mansion. Ten white folks, mm -hmm. okay. and they each get a room in there. They all want it together. Right. All their names is on the deed. Yeah. So, uh, but, but now, that means they'll be here, though. Right. They'll be here. Okay, that means the center of power is protecting itself now. 
government is building itself up, not tearing itself down, it's strengthening its, its infrastructure, right? It's strengthening the police department, it's strengthening all the governmental institutions. So we say, join up. Just join up, get in there. Get as far as you can up to the top or in the middle, but just be there. And take all the benefits. If you're a police officer, you can buy 100,000 guns, right? So you can buy guns and keep them at your house for all of your, the neighbor, everybody's on your team, the local Negro team. I'm not saying anybody would do anything like that. But imagine, everything is legal. And it's easy. This is the easiest way, the most functional way, the most inexpensive way, and the sanest way to handle things in America at this time. At this time. I have been sitting here for years trying to figure out what's the best recipe for success in America at this time for our people. And I would like for everybody for the next few weeks or months to try to figure out and let's discuss what's good for America and us in America. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm happy to do it. Some people are like, man, you just flipped up. I say, well, what do you have in mind? What do you have in mind? Well, we're going to get to heaven with a new shit. You and who? You and who, dear friend? You're going to have a personal revolution. Because ain't nobody, you can't get nobody with you. Because they are all with the government. Everybody, boss man has been dealing with Negroes all the time, and you can't get five Negroes with you. Five. You get five, I give you $500,000 cash money. You get five Negroes ready to do something. It's not psychologically damaged. You know. Anyway, so we're open for that discussion. But also, we want to uh, have some introductory speeches, not too heavy, not, to develop our delivery. And, and we can start around here in Howard and over in Baltimore and whatever they call it. What they got over there? Morgan. Yeah. Morgan, yeah. That used to be a BS something like that. They both I think they still are, yeah. yeah. They so still are? Yeah. Okay, good. But they call it Morgan State now. Yeah, okay, Morgan good, State. good, good. Morgan State and Coffin State. Okay, here's what the idea. We develop to get around to our universities and we present these ideas from the basis of um, blacks being killed, Blacks need to protect themselves in police departments, all of that, what people can understand right now, you know. But we understand that it's a total, it's a total movement, a social, it's a total social movement. And it serves, right now it will serve all of the physical purposes and economic purposes because if there's enough of us in the government, and there's enough of us in the middle class, right, then when we open a store or a shop, or our plumbers and everybody, right, there's enough of us that are of that line that can support them right now. You're not going to call a black, when you see white roofers, I mean roofers on people's houses around here, they white or uh, somebody else, right? With this consciousness, pretty soon, we could support 
our workers right now. If the workers had enough sense just to go around to all the churches and leave flyers and put a picture of a man on the roof that's black, you know what I mean, and not say not them, but just let people know, right, that the Negro first and guarantee people, we guarantee you we're going to do a good job and if you don't like the job we do, you got to give you an opportunity to do this, that, and other, right? Because Negroes don't do good work. No, they do not. So, not all of them, but when I came, the people that did the first electricity, if they've continued, they did a good job, but they did electricity here, they did a little bit in the house. And that they was recommended as a, a black, you know what I mean, uh, and so uh, when I called them, they came by, it was two older guys, I don't know if you remember those old guys that was working, and I asked them, I said, uh, so you guys are been into this and then into the yeah. It said, we used to have 12 trucks. The black kid said, but the Negro won't work. That's what they said. I didn't say that. These guys were older. I mean, they were in their 60s and 70s then. They were getting ready for retirement. They had two trucks left. They used to have 12 fully functional, that's why they got a name around here as a black, uh, you know. The point is, we can rebuild the whole structure through quality work, right? This is not a piecemeal platform. This is a whole package, a whole solution. And so, that includes in every arena. Even the U.S. military, even the U.S. military, go in there and fill it up. Try to kill as few people as you can, you know, to get by. In fact, don't kill nobody. They're going to get rid of you pretty quick because they can try to kill everybody. But at least you'll be there for a while. But after you get a critical mass, right? You're there for the Constitution. Constitution. You're telling us to go kill some guy in Booga Booga Land? I refuse. Because it's not the Constitution. That's not what the military is supposed to do. Right? When you get enough people, and you get enough people in court, and, and, and they start seeing it, hey, pretty soon, uh, in other words, use the system against itself. That's technically, that's your only choice. You don't have any of it. I don't, I've look, been looking for it. I believe, you know, time is moving so fast. The environment being what it is, we don't have the time to wait on building a movement. Da -da 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 -da. That time, that time for now, during this period, is past. But we have to use the one that exists. They created it to be 100% against us, and we're going to create it to help us, to help humanity. <laughs> right? That's, that's all. Okay. That means every institution, evolution, Survive used to be survive, evade, and escape, but now it's survive, evade. Uh, what do they call it now? Uh, not research, but uh, and then finally escape. So that's what we're going to have to do here in America. And Sabaka, now, our line, defend the Constitution. Defend the Constitution. The Constitution technically has everything in there that you could defend. 
Then that in the Constitution it said you can go and start a war whenever you want and shoot niggas around the world. And that in the Constitution said that. But it's part against unjust wars and the the uh, the UN Charter. All that's on the side. The four freedoms, right in the UN Charter, freedom against hunger, freedom against oppression, freedom against such and such and such. Yeah. And all of those, not only the Constitution, but the UN Charter, we're saying, that's what we support. You don't say it tomorrow or the next day, but when you get close to a critical mass, that's what we do. Iranians' winds of change. Iran, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Russia and China, Palestine. The winds of change. Uh, if you look at all of these, what do they mean? Just had an election in Syria the other day. Winds of change. Yemen suffered unbelievable and it held to its end, right? Iraq has been immobilized, but it's number four or three in oil and hell. Iran has been under the gun ever since anybody can remember. And it's still intact. It's not perfect. It's having plenty of things going on. But it's still supporting serious movements all over the world. Okay. That's the winds of change. And then you take Russia and China with Russia and China not being mad at each other. And the two biggest giant countries. One has eight time zones, but ten, I don't know what the Russia got. Good God, money. Yeah, well, on one side of Russia is day, the other side is night. I mean, yeah. night, night, night. And it ain't going to be day for a long time. That's eight time zones, at least eight time zones. America got three, big as it is, three time zones, that's all. Maybe four if you go all of them. Okay, so this fulfills our, our certain dreams for right here. Somewhere over the rainbow, we've always been dreamers. Yeah, here. We've always been idealists and dreamers, but functional dreamers. When people came here and tried to, to mess our stuff up, in 2002, uh, Khadijah, the girl out there causing all that, what would be trouble anybody else, jumped on Karima, which was two fails, the wife at that time, the white lady jumped on her downstairs and messed up the whole, not messed up, but yeah, it messed up. We had the people full come from all over the country and they had yeah, that messed one up, fight. That's up the environment. Yeah. No, that was a design fight though. It was design. Because I went out uh, in the backyard with Brother Tufel or Baba Bloom, I went out there with uh, Mali. And I told them right there in that backyard, I said, okay, let them, let, let me steer this thing that's just happened. And when we came back up in here uh, to uh, meet, first thing, first one opened their mouth was Brother Mukhtar to run interference on everything we disagreed out there. We agreed on out there, yeah, so no problem. So I just turned around, looked at everybody, I said, well, I can uh, get stabbed in the back here. That's 2002. That's when we said, okay, we're going we're gonna to alter this. The stuff that we was doing then, it took several years from 2002 to about 2008, 9, or 10. 
But all in 2005, we were moving this way. Because we're talking about it all that period. Till we had developed things to where now, people that are doing certain things are uncomfortable. But I'm here by myself, and they're doing what they're doing. And that's usually unusual. They don't have any movements where the so-called leader is by himself and surrounded, but he's manipulating the environment. Yeah. And that's why, he, and write notes to himself. Kindness, you know, da 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 da. And we have to make sure that we're going to turn saboteurs and snitches into revolutionaries good working people, right? I've been solid in those books. That got us to where we are now because we could see how everything was going. They had everything at that time just the way they wanted it. Right? That I'm a figurehead and, but I don't run nothing. And I'm invited everywhere because there, whatever happens, they're going to be the recipient of everything. So I wasn't kicked out of the university system. And since they didn't think I knew what was going on in my own organization, or well, they, they thought that the, the weight of their organizational structure, nobody has ever survived it, so therefore, uh, he's just one person, and ain't nowhere in the world he gonna put up with all of us. That's what they was thinking. That, that was 18 years ago, uh, 19 years ago, 2002. They laughed at that uh, somewhere over the rainbow stuff. Yeah, they was technically up here. They was when they was reading. Even some of the sisters was yeah, like that. Ain't gonna, you know, because boss man that taught them, and you could see it in their face and everything, that I am the boss man, and I wrote that nigga off, and you guys are going to do it. And they had the attitude, and it's all over for you. Baba Clune had it, everybody had it at the same time, and it's all over. So, None of this stuff is new. But the thing that we have discovered is those policies from 2009 about hope, optimism, love, compassion, friendship, and all of that is technically the only way to go. It's the only way to go. It's almost